Welcome to Ra Online. Today's topic is genital herpes in pregnancy. Genital herpes simplex virus infection is common among women of childbearing age. During pregnancy, the major concern is transmission of maternal herpes simplex virus infection to fetus as neonatal infection can result in serious morbidity and mortality in the newborn. Type specific antibodies to herpes simplex virus generally develop within 12 weeks after primary infection and persist indefinitely throughout life. Type 2 herpes simplex virus is recovered most exclusively from genital tract, usually transmitted from the genital tract and type 1 is the oral route. More than half of new cases of genital herpes in adolescents and young adults are found to be caused by HSV1 virus. Herpes infection in pregnancy might lead to spontaneous abortions, intrauterine growth restrictions, preterm labor and neonatal infection. So how does herpes simplex present? Primary infection in women is associated with severe painful genital ulcers, severe dysuria due to these ulcerated vesicles and tender inguinal lymphadenopathy. In a recurrent herpes simplex in infection, there are pre-existing antibodies to HSV1 or HSV2, IgG or IgM are present. In the recurrent infection is usually a milder disease, low risk of maternal and fetal transmission at vaginal delivery in recurrent infection. Herpes simplex virus infection in third trimester can give rise to neonatal infection with risk of transmission greater with a primary infection in mother than with a recurrent infection in the mother. How do we diagnose herpes simplex in pregnancy? It is done with cytological examination using SANC smear and this has a sensitivity of 70%. PCR of the secretions is a more sensitive and rapid test. ELISA test to detect antibodies to HSV glycoprotein can be done in the maternal serum. Disseminated herpes may present with encephalitis, hepatitis, disseminated skin lesions. Although rare, disseminated herpes has been commonly reported in immunocompromised pregnant women like those with HIV. All immunocompromised pregnant women such as with HIV are at an increased risk of more severe and more frequent symptomatic and recurrent episodes of genital herpes.